Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm going to be trying out three new products. They are all drugstore products. Um, we're going to be just doing my eyes, so if you like this eye look, stay tuned. We're going to be trying out the Hard Candy. Um, this is called Birthday Suit Palette. The um, CoverGirl True Naked Jewels Palette. It's gorgeous. I've already swatched it. And the Silk Gives me um, L'Oreal liner pencil. That's it. We're going to be trying that out. So if you like this look, stay tuned. So today we are going to be trying out some new drugstore makeup. So let's get started. I am going to prime my eyes with that Bobbi Brown. But I'm just going to prime my eyes with this before I put the tape on. Now we will put the tape on. And somebody asked me what kind of tape this is. I don't know. I don't have the package. I just have the roll, but it says Johnson inside. So I'm sure I probably got it at Walmart and it's just, it's a cloth first aid tape. I'm sure because I already had it when I decided to do this. And so now we're going to take the Wet n Wild Matte Palette. Ugh. If I can get it open, I shouldn't have shut it, huh? Well, heck. Oh, there. I got it. And a fluffy brush. And we're going to use this yellowy color right there. The first one. Oh, it had several of these palettes. This one is called. Birthday suit. That's what it's called. Birthday suit. And like I said, it wasn't very pigmented when I squatched it. So I'm going to really kind of try and dig in there and get it so that it'll work. Oh, I've got to take glasses off. I think I'm going to try and go in with. right there. They don't have names, the colors. It's wet and wild. And I'm just going to use the same fluffy brush. And hopefully I can get enough of this one. Oh yeah, this one seems more pigmented and powdery. And just put that right in my crease and above. That worked out pretty well for hard candy. Did I say it was wet and wild? It's not wet and wild, it's hard candy. We're gonna go in with, oh, with this second, third color that's kind of a golden. No, it's actually more of a champagne. And these were really nicely pigmented. And we're gonna try and See how this goes on my lid. I may have to wet it, but I don't know. It looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in to the corner with purple. And I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. it swatched beautifully although it's not as dark as I thought when I swatched it but it's pretty then I'm going to use the same brush actually I think I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna pop some of this this pink right here second color in the center Oh, 
eyes are getting wrinklier. I think it's because I'm losing weight. Oh yeah, I'm going to have updated information on my menopause weight loss chat in two weeks. The, the Sunday after Mother's Day, I will update you guys and let you know what I'm doing. That seems to be working. I want to give it two more weeks because I wasn't doing it right. And I just found out, even though I was losing weight, I just found out how to do it right. So I want to do it right for two weeks and let you know just how good it is. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to be a teaser, even though I am. Okay. And now I am going to take and put, oops, first I'm going to take this brush that I used for, I don't remember which one, but I'm just going to to blend those together all three of them but not very much because I don't want to take anything away from it and then I'm going to take this pencil brush and I'm going to use this lightest colored it right here and I'm going to put that in the center in the inner corner of my eye just right here Can you see it? Hmm. Put some up here too. Since it's very light, even though it says it's a jewel tone, it's not very jewel. It's I know that when I Ooh, that was too much. I know that when I swatched it, it was beautiful. I think I just didn't have enough because that looks like more. Okay, and that's that. So now I am going to take my fluffy brush. I'll just take this one and kind of tone down that bit under my brow. And I'm going to take my, oh, actually, I'm not going to take the tape off. I'm going to try and do this with the tape on because then I kind of want to make a wing. And put powder on it. So I want that tape there still. I hope this is not one that I tried and didn't like. Better keep the package, huh? Just in case. So this is that Silk Is Me in black from L'Oreal pencil. And I am going to use this on the upper um, push line. And then I'm also going to put it, which I have to move closer, because I can tell I couldn't see very well. Move my mirror closer there. And I'm going to put a line across the top, too. And then I'm going to go back in with powder and smudge it. I'm trying to keep this really close to the lash line. It doesn't matter if it's kind of spotty because you're going to smudge it together with your powder brush. And I don't like to put it in my lower waterline 
Sometimes I put it just in the outer corner and I may still do that. We'll see after I take the tape off. But for now, we're gonna go in with my, this is the brush I use to make my line with um, eyeshadow powder. I am going to use, I think, I don't know if this black is black enough. There is a black in this jewel tone. It's a sparkly black though. But maybe we'll try this one. I don't know, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, we'll switch. But, oh, this is a paintbrush. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's called a flat shader, and it was completely straight across. It was this brush, but I cut it from here straight up to the corner, so it's super, it's kind of stiff, and it's super, super pointed. I don't know if it looks pointed to you. Can you see how pointed it is? And it was, I can show you the one that came with it, like this, only this is a little bit wider than it, but this is how it looked. Oops, sorry, I was trying to get them even. It looked like this, only it was this one's a little bit narrower, and I just cut it straight across with my handy dandy scissors that I have up here that I use for everything, and they're just some cuticle scissors or fingernail scissors. I'm not sure what they're called, but anyways, that's how I made my brush, and it is the bomb. It's a great brush. Anyways, we're going to use this black sparkly one in this jewel palette just to keep trying out the jewel palette even though I wasn't going to because this stuff is really powdery and basically I am just going to smudge out this line All right, it looks to me good enough. And then sometimes when I stretch my eyes like that and then I smudge, then I'll have like, when I let go, the wrinkles in here will have gathered some of that blackness. I just take a Q-tip like this, I don't wet it or anything, and I pull it tight and I just go like that and it takes away all that extra powder that is in those wrinkles, and yet it still leaves your, your liner there. And that's how I fix that problem. But I guess I could take the tape off first. You can see. How this part turned out. And there you go. There you have it. And I will be back to show you what it looks like with all the rest of my makeup on. So I'm back. This is the final look. I have finished my eyes and all the rest of my makeup. I put Wonder Brow on my brows. And I don't like it still. I keep trying it because it costs it a lot and I need to use it. But every time I use it, I think it makes my eyelashes look gray. I mean, my eyebrows look kind of gray and I don't know. Oh, I don't like it. Anyways, I put under Wonder... <laughs> I can't even talk. I put Wonder Brow on my eyebrows. I put on my lashes. They are the Go Glam lashes from Walmart. I put... I finished my under eye. I put the color that... This one here. Let me open it so you can see it. This color that we put on the lid, it's the third color in underneath. And then I also put... The purple in the outer corner of underneath and I put on my mascara and my lashes the mascara I used on the top is the um, superhero from it cosmetics and on the bottom I used the um, tightline primer mascara from it cosmetics I love that one because it's got a tiny little brush and it doesn't flake anything so I really like that one. So that's it for this eye look. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next video.